uh, energy prices are going to be going through the roof. I understand that, you know, peak hours, higher consumption, they'd have to build new generating stations. If you're using power, you know, at night, as opposed to the, the heavy times during the day, um, you know, maybe that's going to help out a little bit. We have to do something, so I guess smart meters is one kind of answer to, uh, to help people to use their energy more wisely. If it was up to me, I wouldn't have a meter at all. <laughs> Everything can't go on the way it is. There are limited resources, not just in this province, but across the world. We must become a much more conservation-oriented society. So smart meters and smart meter technology is hand in glove with our future. We haven't built a lot of new power plants in a while, and we're in a, we're in a period of growth. We need to be able to sustain that growth. If you look at the size of our geography, we're roughly twice the size of Texas. So deploying smart metering for us was a significant challenge, but also we looked at it as an opportunity. The coolest thing about this Hydro One project is that it's happening. Hydro One is really doing it. We are proceeding cautiously with proven technology to make sure that we are leaving open enough doors to bring forward the next innovation. You'll have electric cars, you'll have mobile assets and distributed resources. Direct load control, plug and play networks on a global scale. Intelligent electronic devices for your substations. All of which will have some kind of brokered command and control relationship with the grid because the grid is a living element that transmits power and reliability amongst the participants. So something that wasn't doable before from a business case perspective is now all of a sudden doable. Choosing no is not an option. We have to do something about our energy consumption. And I do believe that uh, the time is now. If we don't act today to build a smart grid, we will be having exactly the same problems 10, 20 years from now, which is the power will go out, we won't know why it went out, we will have a situation where customers won't know how to cut back on usage. We'll be forced to build those power plants that are polluting and expensive, and those are the real benefits of doing the smart grid. It is a reality. It is something that is going to happen. It's the first of its kind in North America. And it is going to transform our customer relationship. And we think that that's a very exciting way to enter the next decade. Yeah.